Hey guys, so uh, it's Patrick here. I just wanted to do a video about my recording setup. It's I'm using Marillus Action, and I was looking on the web the other day because I'm actually having an issue where my video and audio begin to desync um, about five minutes into the video and further on. It'll get uh, desynced by about five seconds, which is pretty serious, especially in gameplay. So I just wanted to go through uh, the solution that I found because I went on the web. I was there for maybe an hour and a half, you know, just looking at everyone's forum posts and things like that, and I couldn't find a good solution for me. Um, first, I want to go ahead and show you guys the way I record uh, the multi-channel audio. Um, I know I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro uh, CC as you can see up there and uh, the problem with that is it doesn't allow AVI files to actually have multiple audio tracks so when I upload my footage using the multi-channel and even changing it in here to let it record into separate audio tracks I'm only getting the in-game footage or not footage audio so uh, what I have done instead is record uh, both the video and audio. Um, I have the video to record the uh, system sounds and I have the audio to record my microphone and if you go in here um, what I actually had a problem with first is that system sounds we're recording in my audio files from here so all you have to do is just put your microphone up to a hundred and you should be set um, you just hit F9 and F10 at the same time and your audio and video should start recording at the same time um, however um, I noticed a lot of uh, people using Marillus Action have had the same issue I've been having and let me show you here uh, if you go to the very end of your footage, you'll have uh, a good portion that is just um, the audio is not going as far as the video here. And let's see, the audio actually lasts 14 minutes and 53 or 56 seconds, and my video is 14 minutes 59 seconds. So I stopped and started the video and audio at the same time, so they should be synced up. And uh, if you, if I was to play this video and go further along, you would see that uh, the audio begins to desynchronize as it goes and just gets worse. Um, so as far as Adobe Premiere goes, I wasn't able to find any solutions other than people uh, getting mad about the the issue and just uh, not using Marillus Action, which isn't what I wanted to do because I'm really enjoying it and I really enjoy the quality of my footage and uh, just the, the features that Marillus Action gives me. Um, so I went ahead and found my own solution. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do this in other editing software, but as far as Adobe Premiere Pro goes, uh, you can. So what I did is I went ahead and uh, right-clicked on the video here, and if you go to Audio Channels, it's gonna open this up, uh, uh, this, uh, this box up for you right here and you're going to go to interpret footage and you're not going to use the frame rate from the file um, I think that might be what's causing a lot of this issue uh, the set frame rate in the file is 60 frames per second and I don't think it's that exactly if anything I think it might be a little bit more so I'm going to go ahead and hit assume this frame rate <laughs> I'm not going to use one frame per second not at all. I am actually going to go ahead and see. Um, let's see. I'm going to do 60.3. Um, and you can see down here it brings your duration down to 14 minutes 55 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Um, and you can actually see here my, my actual audio uh, using my microphone was uh, 14 minutes 56 seconds. So you can always just go back into that and adjust it. Um, so let me go back to audio channels, interpret audio, uh, interpret footage, and maybe I'll go ahead and do 
um, 0.25 um, nope 0.20 um, let's go ahead and try that out and you can kind of see here um, it basically moves the footage back um, as you can see it's kind of uh, grayed out the bluish gray area there uh, the dark gray is where the video actually ends now and you can see how that matches up with my audio and as you listen to the video um, you can actually play with that a little bit until you get what you want but this doesn't affect your audio speed or your gameplay speed at all um, if anything it makes it how it was meant to be um, I just uploaded some videos to YouTube doing this and they turned out perfectly fine so I found this to be a good solution to my audio desyncing. Um, I know a lot of people use Sony Vegas and um, I'm going to assume that there might be a similar option for this but I'm not really sure. It is not the same as increasing the speed of the video. Uh, you're basically just changing the frames. So again I just right clicked on my file here. Let me show you again. Right click audio channels interpret footage and you're going to assume this frame rate you're not going to use the frame rate from the file um, if anything it might be a little faster you can basically just match up uh, the duration of the new footage to the duration of your microphone or um, if you're not using Adobe Premiere Pro and you actually get the AVI with the two separate audio channels um, you might be able to play with that there again I'm not sure I don't use it or never have used it um, but that's been the solution that I've found and again um, I've, I've found this setup to be really easy uh, doing the video and the audio separate using the video for the uh, system sounds and the footage and then using my audio recording just for my microphone so uh, that's my setup um, I hope this video might have helped anyone that was uh, having issues with uh, Marilla's action. Um, I find this to be a great recording software and um, really worth the, what, 30 or so dollars that you pay for it, which isn't really a big deal at all. So thanks for listening. I hope this helped. And uh, my name is Patrick.